It seems very simple when we see someone writing. But it is the most difficult art mastered by the mankind in a lifetime, investing almost five to six years of academic life. A child of two years starts to scribble, but it takes another two years before he learns to write letters and to create words. Additional two years of rigorous learning is required for the child to express his or her thoughts through writing. Writing by hand, in fact, is a very complex process that a human body performs with ease. Let us understand the science involved behind handwriting. The process of handwriting is apparently very simple, in which the hand lifts the writing instrument and starts writing on the paper. In reality, it is a combination of complex tasks that are processed at different levels. The primary organ involved in the writing process is not the hand, but the brain. The brain figures out which muscle it has to contract, at what force and in which direction to pick up the pen and control it to write. It also involves excellent eye-hand coordination. The primary motor cortex or M1 is one of the principal brain areas involved in motor function. M1 is located in the frontal lobe of the brain. The role of the primary motor cortex is to generate neural impulses that control the execution of movement. The human brain is considered to be divided into two parts, the left brain and the right brain. While the left or logical brain is responsible for numbers, calculations, logical reasoning, words and sentences, the right or creative brain is responsible for identification of colors, imagination, recall and concentration abilities. When we decide to write something, the right brain is activated for initiating the thought process and visualizing the thoughts which are transferred to the left or analytical brain where the imagination is decoded and converted into words and sentences. The message to pick up the pen and start writing is conveyed by neurons in M1 to the muscle in arm causing that muscle to contract. In a series of transferring message from the brain to the spinal cord to the motor neurons, a number of muscles of forearm, palm and fingers are activated in a synchronized manner to result the simple process of handwriting. Hence we conclude that handwriting is a result of excellent mind-motor coordination. That is why handwriting experts also call handwriting as brain writing. Handwriting is actually an outcome of a great complex process. It is responsible for the development of several brain functions that help enhancing the learning and expressing abilities of a student. This is the reason why handwriting is the primary mode of learning and has an unchallenged effect on the academics of every student. It has been the prime concern of the educationists since ages and their opinion is that Handwriting is and shall always remain important in the academic progress of the generations to come, despite all technical advancements. Let us see what experts have to say on the effects of handwriting on the academics of a student. Handwriting activates a unique neural circuit which makes learning easier. Dr. Stanislas more ideas are expressed when one writes by hand. Virginia Berninger Cursive writing may be a path for treating dyslexia. Dr. Diane Montgomery Note-taking among school and college students is a good memory booster. Daniel Oppenheimer Writing by hand strengthens the learning process, thereby producing a healthier mind while typing produces mechanical processing. Good handwriting skill or legible writing has a positive effect on learning abilities of a student. It has been observed that top 10 students of a class invariably have legible handwriting. 
one with a legible handwriting makes less spelling errors. Those writing legibly have better vocabulary. They score better marks, hence better grades. Moreover, let us consider a situation where there are two students in the same class with equal IQ, understanding and similar ability to express. But it is an obvious conclusion that in exams, the one with good and legible handwriting will score better than the other. In fact, illegibility actually adversely affects the academic progress. And it also has a fallout effect on the very success of the student as a person in life. If it is so important, are we as a parent or a teacher really focusing on development of handwriting? Probably not. The outcome is every third student has one or the other problem in handwriting. This one small change in our outlook towards handwriting can actually give deserving direction to the child's future. Why do we not give an adequate importance to handwriting? Primarily, these could be the reasons why. It is a very rare subject of research in this high-tech era. We are unaware of the science of handwriting. We strongly carry the myth that errors in handwriting once developed cannot be modified. We at the right right have been doing research on the science of handwriting and its effect on academics for the last 20 years. We provide solutions for every handwriting related problem. We have 1000 plus centers globally. To enhance the awareness of handwriting, we have been conducting the world's largest handwriting Olympiad for the last seven years. We have developed several handwriting related training programs, courses and books for development of good handwriting skills. One of our popular programs is Handwriting Improvement. It is a program of seven days based on correcting identified errors. There is no age bar and results are guaranteed that is 100% legibility. The other is speed writing, a 15 days program where speed is enhanced by 50% without affecting the quality of handwriting applicable to any age group. Basic and advanced training program of calligraphy to enhance the creative abilities in writing. Whoever is interested can take training of 15 days. We have just seen how important handwriting is for the academic life of a student. Every third school going child has one or the other problem in handwriting. Hence, write right is an excellent business opportunity with a huge ever-growing market with a mission to serve the society.